We're living in the golden age of understanding the neurology of habit formation. American psychology professor Wendy Wood and her superb research of a few thousand people found that hundreds of our daily decisions we make, in fact 40 to 45 percent of them aren't decisions at all, they're just plain old habits. So our brain activity drops off in the middle of a habit, it actually just sort of powers down. And what this means is that if we can automate good, healthy habits, they simply should not take effort and willpower to remember to action. We all think that we need a little bit more willpower, motivation to reach our goals. Well, the bad news is, is that willpower and motivation alone will not change your behavior sustainably. You might promise yourself on a Sunday night, I'm gonna pack my gym bag and I'm gonna to go to gym three times next week. But of course, work, weather, fatigue, and friends simply get in the way of that. So relying on motivation and willpower is a losing strategy. But if you know how to create tiny habits, you can change your life forever. So true what Joni just said. When you know how to create tiny habits, you can change your life forever. But there are three things that you need in place happening at the same time, at that moment, for you to change your behavior and to form a new habit. Behavioral scientist Professor BJ Fogg from Stanford University has simplified behavior change into an easy to understand format. New behavior equals MAT, M-A-T. Healthy behavior is made up of motivation, ability, and a trigger. We're gonna walk you, you through some examples so that you can understand this formula and put it into practice. So that kind of motivation brings it together because motivation alone is slippery. So we've got to look at if we're deciding to run a marathon, we just watch one on TV and we want to do that. Sustaining that motivation without the ability and the trigger is a slippery slope down to nowhere. So what you've got to look at is how do you combine your ability and your trigger. So here's an example. If you want to get into daily exercise, so maybe that's not part of your current routine, there are two tiny things you can do every day to automate this good happen habit sorry it just takes 30 seconds so even for those of us who are time poor and certainly can't manage this you can do this every day you brush your teeth at night yep how about taking out your gym clothes at the end of the day after you brushed your teeth and putting that at the end of your bed that takes just 30 seconds so what happens in the morning when you want to put those gym clothes on well they're right there and you haven't had to think about it making it easier what about if you go make a cup of tea or coffee a lot of us go straight to the kettle in the morning as you're putting on the kettle to boil or you're brewing your tea or coffee, why don't you then go into your lounge and maybe stretch or do a few squats? You don't even have to go outdoors. The idea is to make it quick and easy. And did you notice the trigger? Brushing your teeth and putting on the kettle. You could maybe even try an exercise like plank, which activates your whole core for 30 seconds or a minute while the kettle is going. So to reduce procrastination and deliberation, Take these, this formula for tiny habits, such as putting your clothes out, such as putting on the kettle, and then starting to exercise, not for a whole hour or doing a spin class, but rather simple, small things, like going out for a five or 10 minute walk, or simply doing some stretching in your living room. What happens here is these positive daily rituals set you up for success for the entire day. Plus it doesn't take any willpower or prefrontal cortex energy in your brain to think, should I do it, shouldn't I do it? The gym clothes are there, they're at the end of your bed. You're putting the kettle on anyway. Do 20 squats in front of the kettle while it boils. So just automate these habits so that they become part of your life. And this leads to sustainable behavior change.